What's up Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video and welcome to my review of the Star Wars The Vintage Collection Artillery Stormtrooper from The Mandalorian. This is another figure from the most recent wave. I have done a overview video of the whole wave but these are the individual reviews and this is the turn of the Artillery Stormtrooper. So let's get straight into it. If you do happen to enjoy the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new and all that jazz. And there he is. I do love the image that they've gone with. Um, I think they did say that they've like kind of photoshopped him there with the background, but that is the background from that episode. Uh, what was that planet called? Tython, I think it was. Artillery Stormtrooper in the name pill there with the blue background, um, which is a little bit different to Troopers because Troopers are usually on red, I find, especially like the Stormtroopers anyway. But obviously he's got that yellow on him, so maybe they felt that the uh, figure popped a little bit more with the blue. There he is just about to load one of the mortar shells into the mortar there and yeah he looks awesome in the bubble he looks fantastic um he does have all of the new articulation apart from the new style hips because he is basically just a repaint of all of the stormtroopers that we've got most recently um but he yeah, does have a few differences he has a working backpack with all of those shells are going to be able to go in it and etc he comes with the mortar and his normal what's that an e11 blaster i think that is on the back of the card, he is VC263 in the line. There's the other figures from the uh, wave. I've already reviewed Luke Skywalker. He had to be first. So if you haven't checked out that video, again, that video is on the channel. But on this video, we're going to be taking a look at this awesome figure, the Artillery Stormtrooper. Kenner logo at the bottom there, Mandalorian. Yep, another figure from the Mandalorian, but we did kind of need this guy. It's an obvious choice for them to do. Already exists in the Black Series, pretty certain of that. All right, let's open him up and check him out. All right then, so here he is out of the packaging and I'm smiling because this is this just looks fantastic. I love the look of this figure. That pose where he's just about to put that shell into the mortar. The yellow highlights on the figure absolutely pop. He just looks so good. And um, the canisters, the other three canisters are safely in the backpack, which I will show you in a second. The mortar there is in three pieces, which I will also show you. And there are a couple of nitpicks that I do have. This wouldn't be a proper review if I didn't point out the bad points about this figure. And there are two that I can think of, and I'll show you those in a second. But I just wanted to keep him there just quickly, just to marvel at how good he looks. I mean, you've got to remember, this is a 3.75 inch figure. That looks so, so good. Looks straight from the film, in my opinion. Really, really good. Now, of course, the figure is just a repaint of, you know, this guy, basically. So this is the Incinerator Trooper. Not this exact one, because this is the first release with the uh, normal ankles and the bell-bottom trousers. He doesn't have the uh, rocker ankles, this one. But the one that came in the deluxe pack of this did. But this is, this is the other one. I just wanted to bring this guy in so you can see the markings and the pauldron, basically, are, are pretty much the same, but yellow. But I will show you the figure in detail close up in a second. But first of all, we're just going to have a quick look at the accessories. All right, then. so first up, we're going to take a look at the mortar itself. Now, this is a nice piece. I would say it could have done with a bit of weathering, perhaps. It is one sort of dark grey, black piece of plastic. The sculpt's quite good on it. But, you know, as I say, you know, if they wanted to go the whole hog, they could have done a bit of sort of weathering on it. But it doesn't really take away from the piece itself. It's still pretty good. You can see there it does have a hole there on the end. The canister does fit all the way down into there. And it has that little bipod at the front. Now that was an actual separate piece. So that does move. It's on like a little ball there. You can just see in there the little ball. I'm not going to try and attempt to pull that back out because I don't want to break these. These look to be quite flimsy, but um, on display, absolutely fine. But you can just see you can adjust the angle of the mortar. And of course, if you are going to be doing that, then really you want the base to be uh, articulated as well, which it is. There you can see that's on a little ball as well. And that actually came pre-assembled like that. I didn't have to push that on itself. Um, unlike this piece there, I had to put that in. Um, and as I say, once you've got it in there, you probably don't want to take it back out again because you might snap the plastic. But there it is all, right, all the way round. It's got some nice detailing on it and everything. Pretty cool piece. There's the blaster that he comes with. Once again, the same sort of gunmetal grey plastic. No weathering or paint on it whatsoever. But again, half decent details on that. Okay then, so moving on to the figure now. And you can see the paintwork is pretty good. That is a straight line as far as I can tell. So that's pretty good. He has the yellow on the pauldron as well. And then he has these yellow flashes of detail all the way down the figure. 
and all of the lines seem to be really really straight and well applicated so I'm happy with that you've even got it on the back of his hand there going down that forearm on his chest on his legs and one on the knee and some around the ankles as well uh, the ankles we're going to talk about that in a second Turning the figure around, you can see the backpack there, and I've got three of the canisters in. They literally just pop in there. They're easy to sort of pop in, no problem at all. You have a piece of yellow paint on that part of the backpack. But once again, it is that sort of dark gray, almost brown, uh, gunmetal gray type color backpack there. I'm just gonna see if it is removable, and it is. There you go, it has that half moon piece there on his back with the peg. And that's just going to slot back in there very nicely indeed. So that is good that that is removable. As I say, I really do like that the canisters, um, you know, they could have just molded the three in there and have one removable, but they allowed you to have all four removable. And if you had two in there, they would stay in there just as easily if you if you had four in there. They're not going to fall out. So it's, it's well designed and I really like that. So that's pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna come on to two things that I do not like about this figure, and the first one is the ankles. For some reason, they have not painted this white. If you look at all of the other Stormtroopers that have the rocker ankles that we've had in recent weeks and months, like the one with the um, tripod gun and the one that came on the A New Hope card, this is painted white. And unfortunately, what it makes it look like is that he's wearing sort of like slippers or something, which isn't great. And I've checked the source material in the series, The Mandalorian. He does not have black there. They are white. So I can't think to the life of me why they've allowed that to happen personally when all the other stormtroopers that have these rocker ankles have it painted white. I just don't understand that at all. Now, the other thing that's wrong with this figure is that the head pops off far too easily. Literally, when I took the figure out of the packaging, the head popped off. And I did have to wonder why, so I had a look, and it's because of this weird sort of ball that they've used there. Can you see that? It's almost like something that they'd make a bracelet out of. It reminds me of the training ball from the vintage Kenner Millennium Falcon, obviously a little bit smaller, the one that you have on that piece of string there. Can you see that? That's almost got like yeah, it's like a, like a black diamond type thing, you know? And I wondered why they've done that. And I thought maybe obviously you've got the pauldron there. They have to sort of allow for that. But it, it doesn't really get in the way the pauldron. You, you know, when you put that down, there's no click. It just pops off and on far too easily. There is no click. So that was just a little bit weird, I thought. Um, when you look at the incinerator trooper, you can really see the difference here. Look. If you look at the two balls there this one's <laughs> i've never seen that before um, let me know in the comment section below if you have seen that before but i've never seen that before also just to point out that the pauldrons are different because this one is actually attached to his sort of um you know gas things on his gas canisters that he's got on his back whereas this one is a, a separate piece so it is slightly different It's slightly bigger and it's got, um, you know, the different lines going down it and what have you. So let's just put that back on. Put the head back on, which doesn't click. Very annoying. So there he is. All right, then, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed the review of the artillery stormtrooper from the Mandalorian. All in all, a brilliant, brilliant figure. I mean, he looks great with that mortar, no doubt about it. Just those two tiny little things, which, you know, a bit unexplainable, really. The, the ankles, I'm not too sure why they aren't white. And the head just pops off really, really easy. It's got that weird joint. Never seen that before, but let me know if you have. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thanks to my Patreon supporters and channel members. Your support means a great deal to me, as always. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And we shall see you on the next one.